El Rahman, the Most Gracious. With the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, the Ever Merciful. The Most Gracious God has taught this Quran. He created human being and taught him the art of intelligent and distinct speech. The sun and the moon pursue their scheduled courses on their axis according to a fixed reckoning. And the stemless plants and the trees humbly submit to his will. And he raised the heaven high and set up the law of harmony and balance. He explains this to you, that you should not violate the law of harmony and balance. Hold balance with justice giving everyone his due avoiding extremes, and do not disturb the law of harmony in the least. And he has set the earth for common good of all his creatures. In it there are all kinds of fruit and palm trees laden with sheathed clusters, and the grains with the husk coverings and fragrant flowery plants. Which of the benefactions of your Lord will you twain Believers and disbelievers then deny. He created human being from the essence extracted from dry ringing clay, like a piece of baked pottery, with the faculty of speech and possessing pliant and submissive nature. And he created the jinn from a flame of fire, possessing fiery nature. Which of the benefactions of your Lord will you twain then deny? He is the Lord of the two Easts and Lord of the two West. Which of the benefactions of your Lord will you twain then deny? He has let the two bodies of water flow freely. They will one day join together. At present, a barrier stands between them. They cannot encroach one upon the other. Which of the benefactions of your Lord will you twain then deny? Pearls and corals come out of both these seas. Which of the benefactions of your Lord will you twain then deny? And to him belong these ships, raised aloft in the sea like mountain peaks. Which of the benefactions of your Lord will you twain then deny? All that is on it is subject to decay and doomed to pass away but only the majesty of your Lord and that which is under the care of your Lord, the Lord of glory and honor, endures forever. Which of the benefactions of your Lord will you twain then deny? All of the rational beings that are in the heavens and on the earth do beg of him. Every moment he manifests himself in a new state of glory. Which of the benefactions of your Lord will you twain then deny? We shall reckon with you, O you two big groups of the righteous and the rebellious. Which of the benefactions of your Lord will you twain then deny? O body of the jinn, the fiery natured, and the ordinary people, if you have the power and the capacity to go beyond the confines of the heavens and the earth, then do go. But you will not be able to go unless you have the necessary and unusual power. Which of the benefactions of your Lord will you twain then deny? Flames of fire, smoke, and molten copper will be let loose upon you, and you will not be able to defend yourselves. Which of the benefactions of your Lord will you twain then deny? And when the heaven splits up and turns crimson like red hide, how will you fare then? Which of the benefactions of your Lord will you twain then deny? On that day, none of people nor of jinn will be questioned about his sin. Which of the benefactions of your Lord will you twain then deny? The guilty will be known by their appearance and the expressions on their faces. Then they will be seized by their forelocks and the feet. Which of the benefactions of your Lord will you twain then deny? They will be told. This is the Gehenna that the guilty have cried lies to. They will take turns restlessly between it, the hellfire, and boiling hot liquid. 
which of the benefactions of your Lord will you twain then deny? There are two gardens of bliss, here and the hereafter, for such as fear the time when they will stand before the judgment seat of their Lord to account for their deeds. Which of the benefactions of your Lord will you twain then deny? Both the gardens of paradise are abounding in varieties of trees and rich greenery accompanied with delightful comforts. Which of the benefactions of your Lord will you twain then deny? There are two springs flowing free in each of them. Which of the benefactions of your Lord will you twain then deny? In both of these gardens there are fruit of all kinds in two varieties. Which of the benefactions of your Lord will you twain then deny? They, the owners of paradise, will be reclining on couches over carpets, the linings of which will be of thick brocade, and the ripe fruit of both the gardens will be bending so low as to be within their easy reach to pluck. Which of the benefactions of your Lord will you twain then deny? There they shall have chaste and modest maidens, restraining their glances to look at them only, whom in this state neither man nor jinn has ever touched before them. Which of the benefactions of your Lord will you twain then deny? These maidens will look as if they were made of rubies and small pearls. Which of the benefactions of your Lord will you twain then deny? Goodness alone is the reward of goodness. Which of the benefactions of your Lord will you twain then deny? And besides these two paradises, there are two other gardens. Which of the benefactions of your Lord will you twain then deny? Both of them are dark green with thick foliage. Which of the benefactions of your Lord will you twain then deny? Both of these two have two springs gushing forth. Which of the benefactions of your Lord will you twain then deny? Both of these two have all kinds of fruit and dates and pomegranates. Which of the benefactions of your Lord will you twain then deny? Therein will be maidens pious and beautiful. Which of the benefactions of your Lord will you twain then deny? Pure and chaste houris, confined to their goodly pavilions, enjoying the shade of God's mercy. Which of the benefactions of your Lord will you twain then deny? Whom neither man nor jinn has ever touched before them in this state. Which of the benefactions of your Lord will you twain then deny? The owners of paradise will be reclining on green cushions and rich carpets of lovely beauty. Which of the benefactions of your Lord will you twain then deny? Blessed be the name of your Lord, the Master of glory and honor.